Today, Fresno Mayor Jerry Dyer presenting his proposed 2025 budget to the Fresno City Council. It includes cuts across the board to help the city overcome a projected $47 million deficit, millions more than previous estimates. Arette Rodriguez joining us in studio now with more on the breakdown. Rhett. Well, Stephanie, the mayor's office has been crunching these numbers for months and says it's going to take everyone at City Hall to come together to pass a balanced budget next month. It is imperative that we continue to maintain, in my opinion, a strong reserve and to look for innovative, uh, innovative budgeting solutions that will further reduce expenses and increase uh, revenues. Fresno Mayor Jerry Dyer leaving council members with this message after proposing his nearly $2 billion budget to the Fresno City Council Thursday. Dyer says the city has seen continued losses in revenue through sales, business and cannabis taxes while also dealing with the increasing cost of goods and labor. We had ex expenses that outpaced revenues, and we continue to see that, as many cities do, some of that as a result of the incredible inflation. The city has also seen a pause in grant funding by the state, as Sacramento deals with its own shortfall. To combat the issue, Mayor Dyer's office cut every department's budget in the city by 3% for the next year. In part, there will be no new positions added within the city, but no layoffs will be made. Despite the fact there may be a reduction in numbers of firefighters at fire stations 2, 16 and 17 because a grant that funded their positions is running out. That's something that gave city council members Mike Carbasi and Annalisa Perea pause for concern. This budget is over. Station 2 will be at four firefighters. I will not allow it to go through unless that happens. Not support um, going from our, our four crew engines down to three. Dyer says the city's budget issues don't stop here. Is that uh, the budget challenges that we currently face in FY24 and 25 um, could possibly grow worse in FY26. The council will continue to spend the next month and a half making changes to the proposed budget before it must be approved on June 30th. Live in the studio, Rhett Rodriguez, KC24, Local News That Matters.